Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace then. No! Damn it! No! Do you not see? Uh, I need to. I need to ha rap battle somebody a little bit before I start this. Apparently. Where joy you know endures for Ilford all those beloved Valley. of God. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. Hmm. Only his face was burned. That seems like a strange accident. Yeah, this that is really is weird. This slight, frail. Goodwin said Ilfirth was a brute. A peasant. It makes no close. sense. Strange discovery in a churchyard. I would be the ruler of the world, then I'll figure out to be more immortal, then I'll have a super slave cult and take over everything. <laughs> Just be a zool. Like Ghostbusters. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Hey, at least you're willing to admit it. I don't know if I could go that far with it. You do not mourn I know I would use it to my own advantage, but I would think I would also give it to others to use as well. the sleeping. Singing to them. So they are not frightened before they make God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Oh, so it's Layoff who's dead. Layoff. What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Oh, Someone God. Someone hurt Layoff? I saw a pile of dirty clothes just here. Is your friend Layoff a beggar? Hey, you know what? I took that as a very, a very yes. interesting compliment, though, and Zarin. I've, I've been told the same thing many times. And I just kind of, like, think of it as a very char stole, charismatic. But burnt. This hmm. funeral is a shadow play. The Order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one can tell. Is that really that surprising, though? First place. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aelforth lies cold in his shroud. Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order... Hey, you, you know what? You never know what might happen in the next 50 years. In his place. With how fast science is progressing, we could be living in cyberpunk face, time. Then so we would no be living would two know. to three hundred so years. No, I... Mm. Your brother is not in that crypt. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you anymore. Guards! Do I gotta kill a bitch? All right, have your way. They won't do you any good. I do gotta kill a bitch. Now we'll see. There we go. Easy victory. Enough of this. Get no, I'm definitely not ambitious brother, the like one that. that. The he is a ghost now, but he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten, and Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide. No. The king will step aside, and Aelforth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Start as a cool? Don't you mean as a cult? <laughs> Wait, what? What do you want? You, tell me. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond, or the angry Just kill everybody? You can't. If you kill civilians, you lose. And here's another god sent to shit in my stew pot. Sod off, unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. You! What are you doing in here? I am not your enemy, yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. <clears throat> oh, Jesus wept upon the holy cross! Fuck off the both of you! Yeah, hey, you know what? That's what I would do. I I'd use my I'm power armed. to get a Peace. sweet set of armor. Feel my blade in your guts. Gotta stay protected. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. I have a good voice as it is, but at those levels, damn, no wonder he commands the forest. That's true. He is pretty high up there. 
The jewel is for the king. Here's your money. Now give me the trinket. Oh, gladly. I don't care whether you give it to Cedric or not. He has all the finesse of a mad cow in bloomers. I also don't think mad cow disease was a thing just yet. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold, centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific Lord, Jesus Christ. That's and, true. And you're going to just keep it. Could you imagine you? if he said it like that when he was 20? Oof. You may have it, but tell your king it will all be mine soon enough. His jewels, his treasures, his city, his throne. What? No! I... God's pearly tooth! Here's payment for you, and we will both forget this meeting. Did I just get double what I paid? How much did I get? What did I get? How much? Come on. This is the first time I think I've had to deal with something like this. Oh! Never mind. They had one window open conveniently. The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Alright. Oh god. Well, that didn't work out for me. <laughs> Why not as a cult with you? It's either you're Australian or potentially British. I'm fine with it either, either way. I don't think I was supposed to do this, but I did it anyway. Oh wait, no, he's the Seeks. Never mind, did it right away. <laughs> uh, or not. What happened? Was that it? Oh, it was it! What the fuck? From Israel. Hey, that's pretty cool too. Oh, thank you for the follow, my dude. Much appreciated. I didn't even realize this was the dude. I just went for it though. Fucking victory for me. How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the north. Red Dead Redemption 2 of this game, which game to buy? Honestly, I didn't My like the multiplayer for Red Dead Redemption 2, and the beginning is very life. slow, just like this game. God watches over you. I'm still gonna say Red Dead. Red Dead, I think, is overall better gameplay and story. This, however, is a very close behind. Just saying, just saying. You got a follower from Sweden the other day. Nice. Okay. Sweden's pretty cool. I love their people. And God fixed his They're also nice. As they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars. Yeah, no problem, dude. Spears, Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. Huh? God Go Teen Tobin? Huh? <laughs> and I hated him. Is this dude about to lift up a Oh, I thought he was gonna pick it up and chuck it. I was about to be like, this Maybe dude's a god. I'm glad I stealth killed him. A trial you failed. Alfred's Go Teen Tobin? I I don't know if that's true. Yet I'm from there, but I don't speak any of it. From our first oh, is that their name? It could, it could, well. it could be German. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in lamb's wool. Well, he's dead, so he's he's more like a wolf in lamb's wool himself. in a grave. A worthy man to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. <laughs> One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my well, if, death, if you really like Assassin's Creed, then this one is the best one they've made, made since Black Flag. Oh, you're 26 now. Nice, I'm 27. Uh, I've just got a massive beard. First time I've ever grown out a beard, and it's, it's going well. It's only been about four months. Still need to grow this thing out, see how far I can make it. But, um... No, yeah, no, if, if you played all the Assassin's Creed games, this one is definitely the best one since Black Flag, and I've hated every single one since Black Flag till now, except for Odyssey. I've never tried it, and I'm thinking about going back because I've been told that it's a lot like this game, but with, like, tro like Trojan Warriors, Alfred, like Spartans and shit, which would be amazing. The GF is Swedish? Awesome, dude. I wish I had a girlfriend. I'm forever alone. An Irish, oh, well. <laughs> Damn you, coronavirus. Like, that would change anything. At least we'll I have an excuse now. You're 25? Nice, dude. Nice. Able I think Mark's 28, so we're all pretty much around the same age group. 
Yeah, no, this, this game's great. Ever since, like, Black Flag, I've hated all of them. This one has been amazing. I've heard Odyssey is a lot like this one, so I might go back and play that just Curse to see if it's you, really Dane. close to it, because I My do love, like, Trojan God. War stuff. So we'll go back and play that. But, um, honestly, this this has been a very big surprise. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag, and that's just because all the other ones sucked. <laughs> um... Oh shit, what was I doing? Oh yeah, here. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for Oh yeah, that's right. You did tell me about we her. Sorry, Zaren. <laughs> Silly me. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Hell yeah. Fuck Take yeah. I didn't realize I could convert her house. so easily. <laughs> you may find answers there. You still think global warming's a hook? That's fair. That's fine. You can believe what you want to believe. I'm not going to tell you differently. I'll just say my opinion. If you don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. It's simple too. I don't know why everybody has to like get into a war about agreements. It's like, you disagree, you disagree. It's not going to change anything. <laughs> Come forth, Avel. Massive Sith Empire fans. Well, her dad is. She seems to. Oh, that's awesome. I hope you two re uh, like connect a bit more deeper. I don't know. Like, does she actually live in Sweden? Because that'd be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> with global war- or not global warming. With coronavirus. You put global warming in my head. Made me almost sound like an idiot. Global warming wouldn't prevent you from travel. Not yet, anyway. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word. A man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. Oh, nice. That's even better. It's she lives too, close by. I, I hope that works out for you, too, dude. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither... See, the funny thing is about religions, people. typically a the oldest purpose, one ends up being and beyond the most one. accurate. You'd be a fool to refuse. You'd think, anyway. Your reign will end. King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. I could just kill him here. Goodwin. This one is beyond a saving. So she is a vampire. Her ste stepmom, I told her that she left. Oh, that's awesome. At least she'll live forever, and she's very good at sucking. <laughs> Duh, I'm a vampire. I don't know what Swedish people sound like, so that was my impression. It was terrible. I hope you enjoyed it. You had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. I don't know what that means. Was I suspected to- or was I supposed to murder him? Ooh, I gotta get going. I cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow His soldier led gray. you to the King of Or maybe Wessex. it's just lighting. How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. Here. This marks few members of the Order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. Why not sleep with Eivor? Because I am Eivor. Oh, I oh, I've already go. made her bang quite a bit. Peace. <laughs> the order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. So wait, now what? The entire board is done. Now what do I do? Do I have to do the god thing? I guess we'll talk to Thyra? Eivor. He's quite it's agitated. Happened. Sup, Sigurd? Eivor. The time has come. Our time. Our time for what? 
My final glory awaits. Your final glory. I fear Potty to Potter? Go for it. I don't care. Do That's I fine with me. Play? As long as they don't drop the end bomb, I'm good. Is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. Yeah, that's I fine. I don't mind at all. Bring as many people as you want. I know I speak as long as we got a full team, I'm fine understand. with it. It'll be interesting to see how this is going to work on Discord with eight but people. I only ask you trust me once more. But I think at first but we got to have four, words, right? For like heroics and shit. To wish I don't get the joke. Farewell. Potty and Potter? My destiny. I thought it had something to do with Harry Potter. <laughs> Back to Norway. I need to discuss this with Randy. If you must. Like shitty Harry Potter. I will await your answer. Down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. I don't exactly know what I've just agreed to with this man. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Here the fear, okay? <laughs> it may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. I'll go. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'm running out of shit to do anyway, and I'm fine with the... Uh... Oh, it's a, a poop joke. I, I had a feeling it was like shitty Harry Potter. Good. And be safe. Both of you. I had it kinda on the nose. But not really. Hello there, old man. You've aged quite a bit in the year that we've been gone. And uh, your son's go. missing an arm. Look at him. Father. Hey, why'd you come to me when I was drinking? Why couldn't you be here when I was sober? I'm never sober. Sigurd? I got a beard hair in my, uh, in my mouth. My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. <laughs> that is fine. Father, enough. you're drunk. We're not actually here. <laughs> Blood of cheer. What happened there? I got caught jacking off in a Christian city. Well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This, this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. Stop dripping. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Laugh. Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? Oh, right. So we had another chaos, king we were fighting with. I forgot about that. I was so busy with Elderman or whatever his what name was. What possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. I would become a god. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. Hmm. Oh, shit. I think I'm going with the it first option. It was your option. right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. <laughs> What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat.
You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. Sigrid. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We, we still could, can. Yes, and suffered countless deaths for no <clears throat> other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth, because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him <clears throat> back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother. Not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. Uh oh, now what? Oh, I'm not fighting them? Alright. Mm, I worry about this. This is where I'm gonna have to kill Still him. dwelling on your father. Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. You suffered so much pain at the hands of Fulke. It may be your visions are only dreams or hallucinations. No, no. My visions began long before Fulke. Before England, even. And it was Basim who told me to heed them. They are real, Eivor. And this is no mere fox hunt. Where I take you now, few men have ever seen. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. It's interesting because he did lose the arm that she thought he would. And it's, it just seems so strange that... Her vision would be so accurate. Do I not want to take command? 